Hello Pisces, thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. This is a general reading for your Pisces placements for January 11th through the 18th. Pisces, what do you need to know this week? What should Pisces know this week? Two of Gabrielle, mm, page of Michael, seven of Gabrielle, three of Michael. Okay. Looks as though you are faced with a choice. Ah, bold and ambitious or hold back and play small. Bold and ambitious choices. You have a new bold and ambitious choice. Ah, but it's going to be a new challenge. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to stand up for what you believe in. You're going to have to claim your personal power. But in order to do that, you're going to need to release the past. Yep. Something sucks butterscotch off a dog's paw. And you're being asked to release it. So that you can move forward. Ooh, and it's a choice to release it too. All right. The high priest is six of fire, four of water. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so in order for you to move forward into this exciting new endeavor you're not going to truly be able to do that unless you release something hmm. and it will be splendid if you do it'll be spectacular if you do and it would be abundant if you do okay so my first card out in this spread is always the most important. Two of Gabrielle. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. Along with the high priestess, listen to your intuition. Have patience. Carefully consider what you want, what you want before acting. So what is it that you truly want here? It's going to take a brave step. Prince of some, you're going to have to get grounded too. Prince of Summer is all about, wow, get grounded in reality because the possibility that's heading towards you is going to make you feel like you are flying. So definitely get grounded this week. You have an exciting, just exciting endeavor coming in that's going to ask you to make a bold and ambitious choice page of michael an exciting new challenge you have what it takes to succeed but review your contracts and paperwork very carefully okay six of fire victory good news is on its way king of winter get advice from someone professional or objective if you're signing any kind of contracts, get a lawyer to look over everything. All right. Ooh, what are you signing a contract for, Pisces? Seven of Gabrielle. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. Four of water. Missing an opportunity. Open your eyes to the possibilities that are around you. If you shrink like a violet... You're going to be missing out on something so good. Ten of Autumn. Take steps to ensure your financial security. This could be a job. This could be an investment. This, this is very exciting. I'm getting that. Okay. However, side story. Three of Michaels. The Three of Swords. Release the past. Lovers. This is a choice. Queen of Autumn, be practical with respect to how you proceed, the, any, the ability to make anything more beautiful, meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. You're also looking very good, generous, stylish, stylish, gracious, and practical. I mean, come on, check her out. Check her out. Pisces, definitely consider what it is that you truly want in the future. Because you have something amazing that's trying its darndest to come in. And I keep hearing this quote. Who said it? Albert Einstein, I think. He said, a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. And too much. So 
So don't think you know everything about something. Oh, that's what's related over here. Don't think you know everything about something, okay? You have a little knowledge about the truth of what's going on or what has happened. Don't think that you know everything. Choice, yeah, you're blinded to something. You're blindfolded to something. You don't see everything. You don't know everything. Release it. All right. Page of Pentacles. There's a something new in your head. Queen of Swords. Good. Six of Swords. Oh, we're still on a separate story, aren't we? Something that has been long standing. Long standing heartbreak over here. Okay. It's time to release this because something beautiful is trying to come in. You, page status, beautiful energy right now in your head. And you're looking at the Six of Cups to cut it out. I like that. That's also you getting legal help with anything that you might need legal help with over here. The moon. Mm. And King of Swords, really? Okay. First, you have an Oracle card that comes with it. You're going to feel like you're in a whirlwind. Yep, you're going to feel like you're in a whirlwind by whatever this is here. So you need to be logical. Queen and King of Swords. Definite legal vibe here, too, by the way. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Seven of Swords, and this wanted to fall out with the star. You can heal anything, but you, looking over here to the Six of Cups, it's going to rob you. It's going to rob you. Don't do that. Let this go, love. Heal it. It's time to heal. Okay, one more. It's time to heal, to collaborate with others. I get that you're not trusting You've been hurt for so long over something that you're not trusting anything new that's trying to come in. You push it away and you're being asked to, instead of doing that, embrace the new, make big, bold, ambitious choices. But definitely, if it's anything legal or anything like that, have a lawyer look everything over for you. All right? Okay, because there might be something hidden that you can't see, that you're not sure about. Ooh, your top row. I didn't even notice. Orange, blue, orange, blue. You see this? That to me, for me as a reader with my decks, is for you to look at the patterns of your life. How have your choices been shaping your present how have your choices along the way been shaping where you're at, how you got to where you're at now, okay? And you'll see where you've been holding yourself back. All right, we're going to get a card from the Dragon Path and a card from the Mystic Martian Oracles. The Philosopher. Yeah, yeah. 25. Three, 24. 25. Let's see if we can get it without the glare. The philosopher. You should follow that which you seek with your heart. One is never too old or too young to learn. Set your sights high and reach for the stars, for you have much to gain from and to reveal to your learning partners. You have been putting off that which you want to learn. Your self-doubt hinders you from following your passion and your true path. Your affinity with the old arts is the starting point of your journey. Take this as notice that you should follow that which you seek with your heart. For only then will you truly tread the steps of your destiny. Ooh, big, bold, ambitious choices, baby. Big, bold, and ambitious choices. I like it. It's so exciting. Okay. Let's get a card from the Mystic Martian Oracle, which was gifted to me by Claudia. Thank you, Claudia. 
Alright. Aurora Boris. Oh, the snake that eats his tail. Aurora Boris, infinity, eternal, and past life. You have something from a past life that is seeking to return. Something that you had been in previously. It doesn't even have to be an pa actual past life, just something from your past. Something that you've been wanting to do for a very long time. It is time to follow your heart's desire. Okay, Pisces, uh, if you like this, hit the thumbs up. Join us during a live. Go to the community section to find out when that is. It's pretty much every day. You know I love you. Peace to you. Ciao.